Welcome back to the second part of our tutorial for our uh, scrolling shooter game. We had uh, first part of the tutorial, uh, Game Maker Tutorial 2A, um, scrolling sh shooter part 1. We got all the way up to page 8 of 13 on our tutorials on the side here. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add scores, lives, and health. And you can see uh, over here on the side we have all our our description of the things we need to do to um, add health bars and add lives. You can also see that on our Game Maker uh, website, there's tutorials, right? And once again, if you haven't done this already, you can download this for free. Uh, you can get the full version uh, for $39.99, but you can see that uh, everything we're doing is on the free version. The only thing, uh, the big, the big difference is. If you create your games um, and you want to use them or sell them to somebody, you're not going to want the Game Maker watermarks on the games that you put on the internet. So you're going to want to pay for it so that you can remove that. Otherwise, uh, you're going to get watermarks. But you can create the games as much as you want for free to learn how to do it. And then when you start making your games that uh, you think are really good and you want to put on the internet, you can uh, spend the 40 bucks or you can. Uh, Create a or buy a um, professional standard studio, something uh, larger with uh, with more things in it to create better games. But everything we're doing is is on the uh, free is free, and the tutorials are uh, free on the YoYo Games website. There's all these free tutorials, and they also come with the free download that we have here. And if you uh, get the zip file, which you'll need to get all the resources, you'll also see that it comes with these uh, PDF uh, instructions uh, that are this, pretty much the same, except they have all the nice uh, color imagery and uh, the uh, uh, 1945 uh, description um, that you can put in there. And it also shows uh, extended versions of screenshots. Um, we're all the way on page 13 in the PDF, scores, lives, and damage control. And what you'll see here, it's the same information that's written down, but what you'll see here is, is some of these screenshots, uh, such as uh, our create and uh, what we're going to do for our ad events and then the actions, how they are there, are a little bit better than... Uh, this little actions that we see on the side here. So I highly recommend um, having the PDF open, uh, even though the instructions are, are already in the Game Maker uh, software for this. Uh, the PDF version shows um, something a lot better. And then once again, if you happen to have the uh, Game Maker's Apprentice Apprentice book, um, this is Chapter Nine. It's called Wingman Sam, which I showed you in the previous. So hopefully you watch uh, part one of this video before you get to this part because we created um, all the all the objects, explosions, uh, bullets, um, all these interactions in the first part. So um, what we're doing here in our second part is uh, we are um, adding scores, which we had already added five points to shoot the enemy, um, but we're we're adding a a, a whole. Um, area that has the scores and the health on it and it shows um, a little uh, uh, planes over here and we have to add all those sprites so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the sprite in here so we so we have our, uh, our little pac-man and we're going to load a sprite and it's this bottom sprite okay and we open it up and this is this image that we show here and this is called uh, S P R underscore bottom. All right, so so that's the first thing we're gonna we're gonna add in there, and um, it's not gonna collide with anything, so we don't need that. We don't want to center it because we're gonna use our dimensions in this top left corner here, zero zero is the top left corner of it, and then we're gonna create an object where the directions tell us. That uh, now that we put this in here, um, we want to create an object 
uh, called the controller life. So we already had a controller object for our enemy, all right, that created more enemies to make the game more difficult. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create one for our life. And we do that by placing our, uh, creating our object. And uh, we call this object the controller underscore life. And um, we have our bunch of events here. And uh, we have draw events, which we're going to be using here to, uh, to draw things like our, uh, our health bars. Um, if you look under your score here, our lives um, to, to draw the numeric values of our scores. We'll be putting all that into our, um, into our, our draw event. Um, and if you look on our PDF, right, so we can, we can look here, we can see this is our uh, controller life. And this is what it's going to want to, what we want it to look like. We want to have a create, and then we want to have these uh, under the events, the other events, no more lives, no more health. And uh, what we're, all these stages we're going through here is, uh, here's our draw sprite, and we'll fill our draw sprite in um, using the sprite we just brought in, the bottom sprite. Uh, and our X dimensions is zero, our Y is uh, um, 404 and sub image uh, negative one and we're not going to check the relative there and then we'll have our draw score uh, 180 uh, to y of 440 that's where it'll be placed and we have our draw life images and we're going to have to bring in an image uh, that's called a, a sprite which is a, a smaller version of the my airplane the one that we, we use all right, so we have a new sprite here that's a little airplane, and we're going to put that on our bar uh, so that we can have our lives. So we're going to place uh, this uh, draw images um, at X of 16 and a Y of 410. And then we have our draw health, uh, where this is a health bar, and that's being a rectangle. So we have to have four points. We have to have our X. 1 to x2 and our y1 to y2 for our up and down and horizontal uh, lines. And then we could change the color uh, so that it goes from uh, green to red, uh, just like they show in the picture there. There's a, we're going to see a variety of colors here. Um, and then this is what it's going to look like when we have all these um, all of these uh, drawn out here. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do though is uh, let's, let's do our create uh, of this object. And uh, that is doo, doo, doo. Uh, right here. We have the creation of the event controller. Uh, objects set the score to zero, number of lives to three, health to 100. All right, we have a score tab. So all this information is uh, on the PDF right here in this area. Um, when we look at our game, I'm going to cancel this right now. Uh, we see that uh, here is all the information we want for the creation event. All right, so in the creation event here. So we're going to add a creation event. And we put that in there. And our uh, creation event, just like it says, uh, we want to uh, set the score to zero. So we have a set score to zero. Okay. And then we have our set lives to three. So we're going to want three lives. Okay. And we have our health bar. And we can have a value from zero to 100, uh, any number in between. So we can have one to 100 or zero. Uh, but we're going to want it to be 100. To create all these things. And then we... Uh, we have our uh, score caption, all right? So um, we're going to have uh, don't show for all these. And then the words we're going to have is uh, for the score, score, for the lives, lives, and for the um, health, 
we're going to have health. Now, health, we could have power or energy or, all, or fuel, gasoline, anything that we could have uh, in there if we want things running across the bar. But we're just going to keep all this just the way it is. So, okay. So now we have our create events in here. And now our add events, um, we can see our other. All right, so no more lives we're going to have in here. And we're going to have a um, show a high score table. All right, so we have no more lives. And once again, we can uh, pick our backgrounds here. Uh, we already had something like this where we have our water for the background. And uh, you can pick any kind of fonts you want. All right. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll just pick this bold. We can pick any type of fonts. We can change the font color. Uh, or the size of the font, but we'll just we'll just make it a bold font right now. That's okay. And um, then uh, we're going to want to uh, restart the game. Okay, so let's destroy inst instant regame, restart game. All right. So um, when there's no more lives, we're going to show our uh, high score table. Then you can put your name on if you got a good score, and then we're going to restart the game after that. If we look at our uh, PDF, now we have our do, do, um, create, no more lives, and no more health here. So here's our no more health, is we have uh, set to 100, uh, play sound of explosion, and then uh, change the instant object of the explosion. All right, so this is, this is something we had. Um, when we crashed into the planes uh, previously in the first part of the game. So we'll have to change that on our uh, enemy uh, plane objects. And then we can put all our draw instances in there, which uh, are step-by-step -step shown. But here over here is all, the, is all the information we'll need as we read through this. So let's go back to this. All right, we're going to add event. And the other event is going to be... Uh, no more health, and uh, we see on page 16 of our PDF that our um, no more uh, health is um, to, to our health bar set the health to 100, so it's got from zero to 100, so we'll go to 100. Okay, and then we're going to uh, play our sound of the explosion two, which was uh, when the big when our big plane explodes, and then we were going to change our instant when there's no more health. So um, We want to change our object, the my plane, into uh, an explosion, a big explosion. All right, change. I did it backwards. We're going to change the object, my plane. So we're going to change our object, the my plane. We're going to change it into uh, the big explosion, explosion two. Okay, so that that works for us. So so here we have when there's no more health. All right, so when the health goes from 100 to 0, uh, we play this explosion sound, and we change our uh, our plane into the explosion disappears. So our plane ex explodes and disappears. So the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to um, use our draw, our create draw. And uh, something else, oops, something else I uh, didn't do yet is we wanted to uh, set this above everything else. So all the planes, everything disappears behind it. We put all our planes at a level or a layer of negative 100. So throw a couple more zeros on there to negative 10,000. And this puts our, this puts our controller life um, sprite that we're creating, or we're going to create right now, 
into um, into the largest into the highest the highest level so let's see oops draw so we're gonna draw our sprite so we're in our draw event we're gonna draw our sprite and our draw sprite is uh, going to be our um, sprite bottom oops sorry which was uh, this was all on page 13 of our um, PDF and it's also right here so this is our draw sprite so we have our sprite bottom uh, our X is 0 and our Y is 404 404 and we don't check the relative and our sub image is negative 1 so we hit OK so that's our draw sprite uh, the next thing we have is our set the color so here's our settings so we have set the color and uh, the color we're going to want is this uh, beautiful shade of yellow um, that's up there. You can pick any color you want, but we already have a, a background on the bar, so you're going to want something bright that stands out. And we had the word score um, printed in yellow. Okay, so we just said okay there. So we set the color. And then the next thing is we have the draw the value of the score. So we're drawing tools and we want the draw score value. All right, and when we look on our uh, sheet, we want this to be an X of 180 and a Y of 440, which is right here. So we have uh, 180 and our y is four oops four forty these are our positions our x and y positions and it and it has here uh the caption there's nothing there uh we already had this uh caption already given and it was uh we don't check the relative box so we hit okay there all right so let me move this down a little bit so uh this is what we just did with our uh draw the value of the score and uh, what we'll do next is we'll have our uh, health bar and we'll have our uh, lives images done. So um, let's see what we have here. Draw health bar. Put that in there and our health bar we should have x1 of 12 a y1 of 449 an x2 of 138 a um, y2 of 459 remember these are the positions on the uh, on our screen x and y positions or coordinates x and y coordinates is a good this is a positions but it's a good term to say coordinates uh, 138 and we could we could put anything for these coordinates um basically but um this and if we had a we'd have to change the coordinates if we had like a bigger if we want to take up a bigger uh screenshot or a bigger stage uh our coordinates want to be specific to those stage coordinates that we're using um so all of this is filled out correctly so we can hit okay and then the last thing we're going to do is we have our uh, draw our lives so here's our draw our life images and uh, the sprite we're using I don't think I've actually put it in yet okay so I didn't I didn't put this in yet we're gonna have the the little airplane and we're gonna have uh, 16 and 410 okay so our X is 16 and our Y is uh, 410 and we'll just hit OK on that right now. Um, 
but I'll have to, and I'll have to do okay here. What we'll have to do now is we'll have to bring in that sprite. So we're going to create a sprite. We're going to load a sprite, and we're looking for the little airplane in our resources. And there it is, life right there. So that's our, uh, our little airplane. And we hit OK. And we call this uh, sprite life. Oops. All right, so we're not going to center it because we want we want our uh, our zero zero position up here in the corner. All right, when we center the positions, uh, we can move things around. But uh, the way we lay it out here, we're going to keep it our our position in the top left corner. So we hit OK on that. And um, this isn't going to be colliding with anything, so we don't we don't need to put that in there. So that is now um, a sprite. And we're going to go back to our, our life controller and our draw. And we have our lives. And the sprite we want to use is our uh, sprite life. Okay. So now we have 16 for X position, uh, 410 for our Y position, and the image is the uh, sprite life. So uh, if we look at this, uh, we have created all of this. Okay, here's here's all of this for our, our draw event. That's all in there. And for our uh, no more health event, we have all this put in here. Now uh, what we were doing is um, our big explosion. All right, so it wasn't the enemy plane. We have our uh, big explosion event uh, here. So this is okay. Good job. And uh, we go to Explosion 2. All right, so Explosion 2, uh, we had at the animation end of this uh, explosion, when it went through the six stages of the animation or the six images of the animation, it would destroy the uh, explosion, would disappear, and then uh, we'd have a little bit of uh, time in between that happening. Um, so you can go, oh, my goodness, I, uh, the sound plays and I exploded. And then we had to show the high score and then restart the table. Well, um, we put that into our uh, lives. So we're going to delete this, right? Because we put that in. Uh, we put it in. Uh, put it in the front. Okay. We put it in up here already. Oh, that's right. So, so we're going to get rid of that. And um, what we want to do now is 15, 13, 14, is we want to uh, <clears throat> after explosion, we want to create uh, a new uh, a new plane so the plane exploded and disappeared but we want a new one and we want it to be relative to the position it was at uh, when we were there so we hit OK and then what we want to do is with our lives right we want to take away one of those little airplanes that were there so um, we want to uh, have negative one which is right here right? and it's relative so negative one, and we make it relative. So um, okay. So what we have here is the big explosion object. That's this one, explosion two. In the animation end, which we have here, uh, it destroys itself, and then it sleeps for a while, and then it creates a new main plane. So create an instant of object new uh, main plane uh, to its relative position. So we did that, and then it reduces the number of lives by one relative to how many have. So if you have three, minus one is two. But if you only had two, minus one, that's one. So, um, or if you only had one, then it goes to zero. And then when it goes to zero, uh, you get the high score as we put in. So we change this uh, to be that. Okay. And uh, we already did all this uh, when we when we put in there. So let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Let's, uh, let's play our game. See what happens. All right, so we don't have this in here. Um, 
so we should get that. Oh, that hit twice there. So now we only have one life. Now, the third life. Let's see if we get a third life. All right, here's our game. Okay, the last thing we want to do is we want to we want to add this uh, object for our life controller. We want to add it to our so uh, let's see we have our object life controller and then uh, we can put this anywhere. We'll put it down in the bottom. Let's put it in this corner right there. And it, since there's no sprite in there um, that we added, even though we had a draw for the sprite, it comes out as this little blue box like we added the sounds to it. So we place that in there and hit OK. And now when we hit play. Uh, here's our here's our score, right? So our score is zero, and we want to shoot something. So we get five points every time we shoot something, right? When we run into it, uh, what should happen is, our, right? We lost some planes here. So we ran out of all three planes, and then we died, and our score comes up here. Right, so so uh, our health so far isn't isn't doing much, but what'll happen is uh, we'll put some bullets in here, and then when we get hit, uh, we'll have our our health there. So we do have our lives disappearing when we get when we explode. We run into these. And we do get points when. When we uh, blow up the planes, we can add our points. We can change this to anything we want. Um, and we're gonna, when we get hit with bullets, we're gonna, we're gonna lose some planes. Don't have bullets, yet, so we haven't gotten that far. So we'll get to that. Let's see. We will get to that next. Adding more enemies and then uh, putting in our bullets to affect our health score. Uh, and then we're done with the game. So let's uh, go back here, adding more enemies, and we will. While we're making that game more difficult, we're going to be adding um, three more types of planes. So uh, we have a first plane just comes down and doesn't do anything. Um, we're going to change our controller to add enemies. Um, and we're going to create different types of bullets that the planes can fire at our plane. And when the bullets hit us, it's going to affect our health. So um, one of the first things we should do is we'll add all these sprites. So um, we have enemy bullet one. So let's uh, add that sprite. Open up. There it is. And uh, we're going to center it to our planes, all right? So uh, we have SPR. Bullet one. And OK. We will um, load another bullet. Bullet two, and we'll center that. We'll call that bullet two. We'll hit OK, and we're going to have to add all our planes. So we have uh, we already had the first one. So enemy plane two. And we're going to center that so that our bullets and our planes are relative to each other. We'll call this, uh, we had enemy one, so we'll call this enemy two. Okay. Oops. Let's rename that. Rename. Enemy two. 
load sprite, enemy three, center it, SPR underscore enemy three. Okay. Uh, and we have our last plane actually comes from behind. So it's it's going upwards. And we'll call that uh, center it, even though even though we don't have to because it's not firing anything, but that's okay. We'll still center it. We'll call that SPR enemy four. All right. So we have we have our uh, bullets for our enemies loaded, and we have our uh, we have our sprites for our airplanes. All four types of airplanes. Uh, loaded. Let's uh, let's create objects. So um, when we uh, when we have these planes, we're going to have them. Um, we're going to have the planes firing bullets. So let's let's create our our bullets first. And uh, in our PDF uh, file, we can see um, here is for our enemy bullet, the second one, uh, we have a nice uh, we have a nice area here. Um, and our depth should should be the same depth that we had our, our original bullet at, um, which which is uh, zero is okay uh, because we're playing at negative one hundred. So the depth of the bullet is between. Um, our planes, our enemies' planes uh, that we'll have at negative 100, just like ours, and the um, islands, which are at 10,000. So we want them to be above the islands but below uh, the planes so that we don't see them. So we have um, our two types of bullets, all right, and The first type of bullet we are going to have here All right. we need our bullet sprite create an object um, and we're going to add some steps in there and we're going to change our controller uh, enemy so let's uh, create a bullet and let's look at our sprites and we're going to have our uh, sprite bullet number one and um, we're going to call this bullet so that we can call anything we want but they tell us to call uh, the bullets enemy bullet one object and remember, our, our depth of zero is a is a good depth for us. Um, the events we're going to have is we're going to start a um, create event, and with our create event, uh, this particular bullet that's going to be fired is going to fire uh, downwards with a speed of eight. So our airplanes have a speed of four, and um, we we'll want this to have a speed of eight going downward. And then we're going to uh, add a step to this. And um, what we're going to do uh, for this step is that when we have our, um, our bullet hits the bottom of the screen, right? So when our, our Y, because it's just going down, when our Y becomes uh, larger than... Um, we actually could have just the room height, um, but what they give us as an example here is that it's the the uh, room height um, plus 16. So that's uh, a distance 16 outside of the bottom of the room. Then uh, what's going to happen uh, is we're going to uh, destroy our bullet. 
Um, so we have our destroy instant, right? The self. So the bullet destroys. So it disappears. So that bullet no longer exists. Once it leaves our screen and gets uh, plus 16 below the screen, the bullet destroys itself. Um, <clears throat> but if it hits our plane, so we have a collision, and if it hits um, my plane, right, uh, we want we want something to happen. Okay, the first thing we want is we want a sound, and uh, we have a bullet explosion and we have a plane explosion. Uh, what we want is just the bullet explosion. So we're going to play our bullet explosion, and um, we want our bullet when it hits our plane to destroy itself so it plays a sound it destroys itself uh, but something else that happens is uh, we want the our health uh, to our health bar to lose points so we'll call it negative five so we don't want our we don't want our plane just to explode um, when we hit a bullet, like it explodes when we run into other planes, uh, we want it just to get damaged. So we have a minus uh, five. Every time we get hit with a bullet, we lose five out of 100. And when it gets to zero, then our plane explodes and we have to get a new plane. All right, so, uh, so we have a create. So we create a bullet and um, it has a speed of um, eight. So that's twice as fast as an airplane. And uh, when it goes off the screen at the bottom, if it misses our plane, then it'll destroy itself. Um, and if it hits our plane, then we play a sound and the bullet disappears. So we don't want it just going through our plane or, or, or sticking to our plane. And we lose uh, some points on there. So um, that's our first one. Uh, now... This is what we're going to have to do for our, our next uh, bullet. So we'll create our, might as well do it now, we'll create our um, object, um, our enemy bullet 2. So we created the first one, and since we have that, uh, we might as well um, create the next one too. So we have this information here. So here's an object, and uh, the sprite we're going to use is our sprite bullet 2 and what we're supposed to call it according to our sheet is object underscore enemy bullet 2 and uh, the first thing we have is a uh, create event for this bullet and um, we're going to be using uh, these values over here um, and this goes all the way uh, how many steps we have when we create this right so here we have we have all our new type of bullet information right here on our sheet um, and it's also if you have the PDF uh, we have the new type of bullet all this information here so we'll look at that um, so what we have is our let's see here we have our um, test instant count so we create oops, <clears throat> the object that we're going to be hitting is uh, my plane uh, the number is zero and we're going to want it larger than. And then we hit OK. Um, and then we're going to have a bullet that can be um, directed to a point. So the second bullet, the first one's just shot straight down. But the second bullet, when it comes out of the plane, is going to head towards the position of our plane. So we're going to have to avoid it. So every time a bullet comes out, it's going to be head towards our position. And um, here we have this information uh, that shows, right? So it applies to the self. 
and we have our object underscore my plane position at X and the object underscore my plane position Y and a speed of eight. So what we have happening here is whatever the position X is when the bullet comes out, that's where it's going to head straight towards in a straight arrow. It's not going to change in, during its pattern. It's going to come out in a straight direction towards that um, position. And we just add that in there. So we have uh, OBJ. Underscore my plane is the object, and then the code that we have in there is dot x. So the x position that the bullet is going to head towards is going to be my uh, object, my plane, and make sure that you have object underscore my plane is what you actually called yours because if you gave it a different name here you're gonna to have to use that object name otherwise it won't work correctly All right the speed we have is eight uh, just like we had in the last bullet and our y position is going to be obj underscore my plane dot y so that's our y position and then we don't have to check relative we keep it self and we hit okay all right, so um, now we have the bullet comes out and it goes towards that. And um, if it if there's nothing on the screen, then we're going to create a um, a a else uh, right here else. So if uh, if if there isn't an X or Y position because our, our plane blew up, then uh, we want it to have, we don't want it to be like, oh, uh, there's an error because now we don't know where to fire. We want to have a choice. So if there is no X or Y position, then we'll just have it shoot straight down um, with a vertical speed of eight. All right? It could be, there's no point in that. There's no, there's no, um, could be four, could be anything, but we'll just keep keep things the way they are. So that's our uh, create for this bullet. Now, um, well, if the bullet hits us, so if we have a collision with uh, with my plane, um, like we had before, then we use the same uh, we use the same uh, information here. So we have a explosion, and it's the bullet explosion, which is explosion one. And um, then we want the um, the bullet two to destroy itself, right? So if it hits my plane, it makes a noise, and then the bullet disappears. And um, then we want uh, our plane to uh, once again uh, lose lose some lose some health, right? So we want this to be relative health. Each time it loses negative five from a hundred. So this is the same thing that we had for our for our first uh, collision with the first bullet. And we'll have that for this bullet too. And then the last thing we have is if our bullet. Um, now we had had we had had. Uh, um, we had had our no, outside the room. We had had um, before. We said if our bullet went to uh, if our bullet went to uh, a specific distance that was um, vertical that was larger than the bottom of our screen, then it would destroy itself. Um, since these bullets can fire in any direction, we don't have a specific end place that will be at. It could be to the right, it could be to the left, it could be up, it could be down. It could be in any direction these bullets can be fired when they are fired. But once they leave the room, then these instances will be destroyed. Now, technically, we could have done this with the last bullet, too. Um, even though we knew that it was going vertically downward, um, it still leaves the room, and we could have had it destroyed at that point. Um, but if we look at that, 
what we've done is we have uh, created our second bullet. So we have our create, everything's there. We have our object, and we have our what happens when it leaves the room. Um, all done. So then we can have, okay. Now that means we have our two bullet objects. Now when we create our, um, our codes for our planes and we enter the bullet objects, something to happen with them, uh, those bullets actually already exist. So um, we're going to create the first type of plane. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do something that makes it uh, a little bit easier. So here we have our um, here we have our uh, object plane one. It's got all this great code in it. Um, when you get hit by my bullet, when you collide with my plane, you destroy my plane. When you get hit by my bullet, you destroy uh, you destroy the plane. And then you start on the top, at a, at a, you jump back up to the top at a random position, um, create an explosion, how it's created has a vertical speed downward, uh, our steps are here, so we want, if it gets down to the bottom um, with plus 32, then it jumps right back to above the screen and comes back down. So we have all this great code here. So um, a good thing to do if we want to keep the majority of this code is to uh, duplicate uh, this becomes object 16 and we say well we want to do our uh, sprite enemy 2 and then we want to do our um, object obj underscore enemy 2 all right so we rename it so so now we have our um, Oh, for enemy two. Two. All right, so now we have our uh, our second plane here, and it's already got all this cool code here. All right, and um, when we do this, uh, first thing we want to do is uh, we just want to change the score because uh, this one is going to be a uh, more difficult plane to shoot because it shoots at you. Right, The first plane didn't shoot at you. But this one doesn't, so we'll add the score up to this one. And um, we'll keep all this stuff, all right? It makes the same jump, all right? It has, uh, when it gets shot, it still uh, creates the explosion, still creates the same type of explosion. Uh, when it collides with our plane, it'll still destroy our plane. Uh, we'll still have the same um, speed of four. We could make it a little bit faster. All right, do that. All right, let's do that. Let's make this a speed of six instead of four. That'd be cool. Um, the bullets still come out at eight, so those bullets will still be just as fast. And our step, all right? So um, the step was if it went uh, below our stage, then it would jump back to the top, which is nice. But uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to add um, we're going to add some a little bit of code to this, um, so that. We have uh, we have these bullets uh, being created, and uh, the code we're going to add it. We're going to add this little dice here, okay? And uh, we're going to have uh, eight. We're going to have 30, 30, uh, 30 chances to this, okay? Um, Let's see, where was that? Right here. All right, so let's hit OK. So what we're doing now is is uh, we're having this action with a parameter we put in 30. All right, so we have a 1 in 30 uh, chance. This means that the next action is performed an average once of every 30 steps that take place. All right, it'll create an enemy bullet. All right, and then... Um, we're going to have a create... So what it's going to do 1 in 30 times is it's going to create, and this was our bullet 1. So this is why we created these objects, because it's going to create our, um, our object bullet. And it's going to be relative to uh, where our enemy 2 plane is, and it's going to have a, um, an X of 0, but a Y of 16. So it's going to shoot out the top of the plane. All right, so 
there we go. So so this is what we have here is we have uh, we have the same create. Um, we added that bullets are created uh, through a step process, one in 30 steps, and um, we have these bullets getting created, and we already created a bullet object that uh, collides with our plane and blows up and the rest of it, and all this other stuff still happens the same. So then we go, okay, that's great. Still have it at the same height. All right, so now uh, we want to create our next plane, and we can do this duplicate. And we're going to use some of the same parameters here, only we have different bullets. So uh, we have the create is the same, right? We can have the same speed, or we can go back to four, which is fine. Um, and we have when it smashes into a plane, my plane, it destroys my plane. And uh, we want to change the score. Uh, the score was uh, five, ten. We can change it to twenty. Now this one shoots at us uh, in any direction, all right? So this one still comes from the top, so all of this stuff stays the same noises, everything's the same. Um, this is the same. Uh, now these steps, okay? So first of all, um, we're going to have the second bullet because the second bullet has different ones. So we change that, okay? That's cool. And uh, we want this to happen um, more than 80 times, okay? So uh, all this has been uh, taken care of, and we hit OK. Now the fourth, oh wait, forgot to, I forgot to do a couple of things. Let's open that up again. First of all, I needed to change this to three. And second of all, I need to change this to object enemy three. Okay, so now, now that's done. So now we have one, two, three planes. Now our fourth plane uh, is basically like the first plane. So we'll put in the fourth plane here. Um, it doesn't shoot bullets. So that's why it's like the first plane. It just flies. Uh, object enemy four. All right, so we have object enemy one, two, three, and four. Uh, now because it's flying in the opposite direction, we're going to change our um, our speed from four to negative four. So it means the opposite, All right? Uh, oops, let's open this up a little bit. All right, uh, score doesn't have to be that much different, but we'll do it. How about ten? Okay, so we change it now. When we run into planes, it explodes, it plays the same noise, it destroys it. That's fine. Um, if, oops, if it's hit by a bullet, it explodes, all right? It plays that one sound, uh, it creates explosion. But uh, instead of jumping to the top of the screen, we want it to jump, um, same thing, random, random X. But instead of being at the top of the screen or above the top of the screen, we want it to be uh, below the screen. And below the screen would be our uh, room height, underscore height. Uh, plus 16. All right, so instead of being uh, minus 16, uh, we're going to have the room height, whatever that is, and we're going to add 16 to that. Okay, so that's our Y position. Uh, now, it's the same thing here. Um, we have, if it's going upwards, well, we're not going to have, uh, we're not going to have, we're just going to have minus 32. Okay, so we're going to have our... Um, and it's going to be smaller than that, not larger than that. So if the airplane goes up and it goes to a number that is more negative than 32, which means it's smaller than negative 32, um, then it will jump back, not to negative 16, a random, random position on the X, but it'll go to the um, 
the room underscore height of plus 16 right so so that's where I'll go so things we changed here all right under our create we change the speed to be negative 4 so that it's going up instead of down because it's pointing in that direction uh, we change that it will go to the top of the screen and if it gets way up high then it'll jump all the way back to the below the screen we uh, this stays the same but if you're hit by a bullet you jump back below the screen uh, and you have a different score okay so we created our four um, we have our four planes and we have our bullet objects created that go up there the last thing we need to do which was kind of through here uh, I gave different stages for here is our um, changing our uh, controller ener enemy object All right so under our objects we have controller of the enemy now remember what we had before was we had um, gonna pull this out we had um, at the creation we created uh, an enemy plane and then um, at alarm at zero for our alarm zero started at 200 and if we go to 200 uh, we create a enemy plane and then that repeats every 500 um, cr creates another plane at 500 so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna now uh, we're going to find our clocks and we're gonna set um, at alarm one um, which we will have at uh, 200 all right so at alarm one which is also at oh is that 1000 sorry is that 1000 So value of 1,000, and then we'll, we'll create this for every 500. So we have, uh, we set our alarm one to 1,000, and then we add an event, and we have our alarm event. So here's alarm one, and add alarm one, when it reaches there, we're going to want to uh, create our second plane. So um, here is enemy two. So object enemy two, and uh, we want it to start randomly at the um, room underscore width. So anywhere across the x-axis, but we want it to start above the top. So that's negative um, negative sixteen. All right, so we create our enemy two um, at negative sixteen being random across, and uh, we want to have our alarm for alarm number one at five hundred. Okay. So there we have we have alarm number one again at 500 to create the plane, right? That's all written. That's all over here, right in this area. Okay, so now this is what happens at alarm zero. Object enemy one is created. At alarm one, object enemy two is created. Um, so now we're going to create an alarm two. And alarm two is going to be at two thousand. And then over here, we're going to create an alarm two. And at alarm two, we're going to create our uh, third 
plane, object enemy 3. And we're going to do the same thing where we have our, it's a negative 16 because it's above our top. And we have our random position uh, with the room width. Okay. And we want to do our alarm 2 at 1,000. Go back to alarm 2 at 1,000. And now we want to add our alarm 3 for um, our last plane. So alarm 3, and that's at 3,000. And then we want to add our alarm 3 event that takes place. And we want that to create our fourth plane. Our fourth plane, uh, once again, is going to be random along the x-axis for the width. Somewhere within the boundary of the of the room. But our uh, y is going to be the room height plus 16. So it's going to be um, greater than the room height. And we want this to happen, this alarm 3 to happen, every 300. Okay, so we have uh, create our first object, and then at alarm 0, we create it again. Alarm 1, which is greater, we create the uh, second type of enemy. At alarm 2, we create the third. And at alarm 3, we create the fourth type of enemy. And we, if we create, we start. Um, and we have our 0 alarm, our 1, our 2, and our 3. So this creates our um, control. Now, what we can do is we can actually we have this uh, we have this one uh, position that starts at uh, negative 16. We can have a second one come in, All right? So we can have our first our first uh, type of object enemy one, and we can do our uh, random uh, room underscore width. And we can have it trail behind. So if one, we can have one come in at, a, at the same position at negative 16, so they start at the same time. Or if we put one at negative 100, uh, then what it'll do is there'll be a second plane that's behind the first plane. So now we have uh, two planes are created in this instant. So all this stuff is good. All right, so something we're going to do over here is uh, we can get rid of these. We can keep them, we can get rid of them. All right, so let's do... Uh, Let's get rid of this one. Delete. And let's get rid of this one. Delete. And let's get rid of this one. Delete. And let's keep those two. Um, so what we're going to do is we have our controller, which is a object. We could place that right there. So now that's on our board. So this will this will run our our object controller. So um, we have our object life down here, and we have our object controller over there. Um, might as well hit save because we did all this work. Save, and let's see what happens here. So uh, get on your plane, and you shoot. All right. So more planes should be being made randomly here. And then uh, at some point we should see 
different types of planes appearing. Seems like there's more and more planes. Hmm. Oh, there you go. So now there's a plane that shoots straight up. And now what we should get is uh, there should be more of these planes. Remember, I made that plane a little faster. There you go. Now that should add. And then there should be a, a second type of plane. There's two planes now. And then they should continue. There should be continuing to be more and more in their steps. And then we should get the the next type of plane should be coming soon. There it is. No, nope, that's not it. Oops. Oops. There we go. This one. So now we have three of those planes coming at us, and then a more difficult type of plane comes out. And then after that, we should get our fourth type of plane. So continue playing this. Oops. So we should get a plane that shoots sideways. There it is. So there. Oh, and there's the one, the blue one behind it. It comes backwards. And then these will continue. There's more and more, planes, more and more difficult as we go through there. So let's, oops. And there's all different scores in there. All right, good. All right, so all this uh, part is done, and now all we need to do is finish our game. I'm actually going to stop here, and uh, we'll finish the game, and then I can show you how to use timelines or uh, extend the room uh, with a longer view uh, in the third and final uh, video tutorial.